Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and today I want to show you the new Aura integration with Melodyne 4.2 and Logic Pro 10 10.4.2. So the combination of these two updates makes Melodyne and Logic work way more closely and way more efficiently together. So before I get into the video, I want to let everyone know that I'm going to be doing three live streams over the month of October and November 2018 over at MacProVideo.com. I'll be doing a Beat Builder Masterclass in Logic Pro 10 on October 23rd, which will cover sampling techniques and drum beat building techniques. Then I'll be doing a Vocal Producer Masterclass on November 6th, where I'll cover flex pitch, vocal harmonization, as well as other vocal producing and mixing techniques. And finally, I'll be doing a Pop Rock Mixing Masterclass on November 13th. Each of the live streams is $29, or you can bundle and sign up for all three for $49 total. Additionally, I have links with $5 off each stream below for subscribers of my channel. These are really gonna be fun and you'll have a chance to ask me questions and interact with me during the stream. All right, back to the video. So ARA stands for Audio Random Access, and this offers a whole bunch of advantages to the way we used to work with Melodyne. So the first most obvious advantage of Aura is that you can now open tracks without transferring. So I've got a comped vocal track here and it needs a little help. So what I would normally do with older versions of Melodyne and Logic is I would add Melodyne as the first thing on the channel strip. And then what I would do is click the transfer button and then press play and transfer in that entire track. And you'd have to do this for each individual track. And it took a lot of, uh, it took a long time to do this. Now that you're sober, don't tell me that it's over. Don't turn this ship around and tell me that you can't give one more day. Don't ever tell me why. Don't you ever ask me why. Cause I don't want, I don't want to know. So it takes that long just to transfer in your data just for one vocal track for just one verse. Now, what happens if I wanna go back in and maybe use a different take? Maybe I wanna use this section uh, right here instead of the one below it. Well, you can't do that. You couldn't do that normally because we've already printed in our, our audio into the Melodyne plugin. So with Melodyne in Logic with Aura, all you do is you load up the Melodyne Aura plugin, and then all you have to do is hit play and it'll automatically load the audio into Melodyne without having to transfer it. Now that you're sober, don't tell me that it's over. So I can go in and very quickly go in and edit my vocal performance without having to transfer all of that data in. Now, another thing that you'll notice here is that these gray lines are representing each of the takes that I have comped up here. So that's really cool. So we'll talk about some additional uh, editing uh, improvements with uh, Melodyne Aura as well. Another update is that Melodyne now follows all of the changes you make to the track, including uh, copies that you make to the region, also loops of the region. So let's say that I transferred in my vocal like I did before the, with the older version of Melodyne, and I wanted to copy and paste this verse over here, or this chorus, over here, whatever it is. I often do this with vocals a lot. I'll just track the chorus once and then copy and paste it, you know, one, two, or three times, depending on how many times I want it repeated. Well, the problem with that is that Melodyne does not copy your transfer, at least it didn't used to. You still just have the one transfer here. So what I would do before ARA is one, I'd have to flatten my recording here, right click and go down to bounce and join and bounce in place. Then after I bounce and place my new audio region with all of the Melodyne processing in it, then I would take that printed audio file and duplicate it wherever I wanted it to go. The problem with that is that it prints Melodyne and all the processing into the new file. So if I want to go back and make a change later, you really couldn't do that. With Aura, you can option click and drag this over, go back into the Melodyne plugin, and you'll see that if I start playback over here, it actually copies over all of those Melodyne edits. So we can still go back and we can make changes to our Melodyne tuning after we've copied and pasted it over. So that's incredibly helpful. 
Now this also works for looped audio. So if I loop out this little clip here and then go back into Melodyne and hit play, you'll see that it adds the uh, copies or ghost copies as they're called. Now because it's a loop or a ghost copy, if I change one of them, it changes all of them. Now this is different than simply copying and pasting. So if I hit uh, option and duplicate this over and then hit play, it recognizes the real copy, but I can independently edit the real copy unlike the ghost copies or loops from before. Aura also supports region-based mixing. So you can adjust the region gain um, you can also uh, mute a region. I'll just hit Control M to mute. And it also um, recognizes fades as well. So if I go back into Melodyne now, after I've made these three changes, so you can see that the second uh, clip is muted. You could hear the fade at the beginning, and you can also hear that it's audibly louder because of the additional region gain that I added to it. So because Aura follows any changes you make to your audio region, this actually allows you to use Melodyne in the comping stage. So off screen, I edited up my vocals in Melodyne and uh, tuned everything. Now that you're sober, don't tell me that it's over. And let's say that first phrase, I wanna try a different take. Maybe I wanna try this one instead. You can come in here, select that take, just like you normally would. Go back into Melodyne. Now that you're sober, don't tell me that it's over. Don't turn this ship around and tell me. So this first take, it's punched it up there and into the composite take, into the take folder, and we can now tune this one. So you can use Melodyne at the comping stage, which is incredibly useful. And lastly, uh, thanks to Ara, there's no need to uh, keep transfer files organized and archive them and move them over to other people that are working with your project because your transfer files are now all contained within this Aura files folder within your logic session folder. So this is really cool that you don't have to worry about that anymore because one of the things that always happened to me is I'd work on a project, I'd tune up the vocals, I'd move the session around maybe on a different computer, open it up and then all of a sudden it can't find any of my transfer files and I have to start from scratch. So you no longer have to do that. So this is Aura from Melodyne. It's specifically uh, with the Melodyne 4.2 update and the Logic 10.4.2 update. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.